In the peak of lambing season, this week we're touching on twin lamb disease. So this is basically an energy imbalance in our yo. And it happens towards the end of gestation and it's going to be more prevalent in uh, tin yos and yos carrying multiple lambs. So towards the end of gestation, as the lambs are developing inside our yo, her energy demand increases. And if her diet isn't tweaked to meet that energy demand, she starts using up her own fat reserves. When an animal does that, they release compounds called ketones into their blood system. And these ketones have a secondary effect of making an animal quite dull or quite dopey. And a dopey or dull animal is going to eat less. So we're going to have a massive energy imbalance uh, as a result of that. The symptoms you'll see with twin lamb disease include obviously a dopey yo. She'll almost appear blind at times. Um, her muscles will sometimes start to shiver or tremor, like what you see in milk fever or grass tetany in cows. She'll go down, that's an obvious one, if, if, this, if the symptoms exacerbate enough. And she could abort the fetuses that she's carrying inside her. And this will obviously bring its own problems as she tries to pass them out. So treating twin lamb disease, well obviously we try to prevent it by making dietary adaptions in late gestation to meet those energy demands. If we get it, we need to get glucose into that yo system, into our bloodstream. The problem is, when we dose glucose orally into a ruminant animal, the rumen microbes use up all the glucose themselves. So we use a product that contains propylene glycol, like Xanatol. And propylene glycol is a precursor for glucose production. So it provides the animal with the building blocks they need to synthesize their own glucose. And I suppose in a sheep that has twin lamb disease, we're talking about going in with about 100 ml of this product for between 5 and 7 days.